Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the all new Belkin Auto Tracking Stand Pro with Dock Kit. Belkin was nice enough to send it along, but it's not a sponsored video. But this is something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. You'll see it uses something called Dock Kit. Apple actually introduced this with iOS 17, and we haven't ever really seen it used. And what it means is it's built into iOS that it can actually track you using a motorized platform. So let's go ahead and open this up and then take a look at how it works. Now, this comes in at $179.99. Let's go ahead and open it up. So it opens like this. Pretty simple packaging, all highly recyclable packaging as well. There's the dock itself. And then inside, it looks like we've got a power cable. And Belkin, of course, is known for charging as well. And this will actually charge your device while it's plugged in. And it has a battery built in. We'll talk about that in a moment. But you'll see here we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable included in the box. I believe it's about five feet or so. And then we also have an AC adapter here. So an AC adapter for the wall. So we can plug this in directly and you can see all the details right here. So that gives you an idea of what it has in it and that's included. So with this, we've got a little quick start guide it looks like. So quick start about how to set this up and get it working. And then also we have the stand itself. It feels pretty high quality, has a little bit of weight to it, probably so it stays on the table or wherever you're using it. On the bottom, we have a little piece of, looks like paper or plastic we need to remove here. Let's see if we can remove this. There we are. So we even have a little spot. We could place it on a tripod as well. We have a little reset button and then it's a 30 watt fast charger. So we have that and it will charge your phone at 15 Watts. Let's remove the little piece here and all of this is motorized. So we have a little motor here down in the base as well. Let's see if we can get this turned on and ready to go. I thought this was a piece of plastic, but it's actually metal. So it looks pretty good. And let's see if we can plug it in, get it turned on. Now we'll go ahead and plug it in. And this actually has a battery inside that will last for about five hours while it's using motion tracking. However, while it's using that on battery, it won't charge your phone, but while it's plugged in, it should charge our phone. So if we place it on here, it starts charging. You can see that right away. But now that we have the light on, let's go ahead and pair this as this works differently. You don't need a separate app or anything like that. We should be able to use NFC and you'll see it pairs right away. And it actually needs an iPhone 12 or later since it utilizes MagSafe and also needs iOS 17.2 or later. So we'll tap connect and that should be just about it to get it connected. So we'll give it just a second here. It says configuring accessory for first time use. This may take a few moments. So again, we'll give it a few moments and see what happens here. It's completed, we'll go ahead and tap done. We're paired, ready to go. And now if we go into the camera, we'll just place it on the stand here. And as long as we have a box around our face, it will actually track us as we move with built-in dock kit. So if you can see that here, it can tilt 90 degrees here and then it starts spinning. So if I place it over there, you'll see it auto corrects right away to bring right back to my face. It's tracking me with that little box. So if I back up here, We'll hit record. I'll back up. You'll see the microphone's in the way. Let me slide it out of the way. And now we're recording with the iPhone 15 Pro Max using Dock Kit. As I get closer, it will tilt back. If I move over here, it will follow me around. You don't want to move too fast, but if we move over here, you'll see that it's actually following me and will tilt up and down. And also you can use the rear camera as well. So I've stopped recording. If we want to use the rear camera, watch what happens. We'll flip it around here, give it a second. It spins right around and then we'll use the rear camera for better quality. Of course, you could place it in landscape or portrait, whatever works for you. And let's see if we can record with this as it supports Apple Watch as well. If you've got the camera app on here, you can actually go in and then hit record that way as long as it's paired. So we'll give it just a moment here, see if it will pair. Now it's recording. It's not showing me any video, but again, let me move out of the way of this microphone. It's moving a little bit. Let's see if I go over here, it's following me around. So again, if I get closer, it tilts down. If I move back, we'll sort of zoom out. And then maybe if I move over here, it follows me around. 
So it's working just like you would expect, and it's super simple. You just push a couple of buttons and you're good to go. Now it also has a button on the front, and this allows you to stop tracking or start tracking again. So maybe you want it to stop tracking. Maybe you need to do something off to the side. This also works with third-party apps such as Zoom. Maybe you're on a Zoom meeting. Anything that integrates directly with FaceTime will sort of work with this as well as it's built into the OS. No separate app or anything else. So I think that's super helpful and definitely worth checking out if you want something to sort of track you around using center stage along with this. I actually, when I saw the first demo of this, thought they were using center stage, but they were using this. It just works really, really well. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If it's something you would use, I plan to use it an awful lot, but let me know in the comments below and I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.